I'm Joey Handsome, and I'm an American expat living in Berlin for seven years. I'm a DJ, musician, event organizer, and journalist, and radio show host. And my current project is Expatriarch Generations here at Schwitz. So the idea is that recognized, established artists from Berlin scene like Peaches and Gut und Gut, Planning to Rock, and Pereira elsewhere um, can pick a, a newcomer artist as the next generation, someone they want to usher in, promote, and support, and pass on knowledge and experience to the next generation. Nothing to do with biological reproduction, but rather helping the newcomers find a platform for more exposure. Well, I picked the, the older generation, um, and the idea was that they would totally independently pick someone that they want to support. Now, a couple of the, the participants asked me for some input because they think that I'm more in the loop of who's new and up and coming. So I've given some suggestions, but ultimately it's their decision, someone that they're excited about to, to help and engage with. Over the years, I've worked with plenty of different sleazy and scummy people, but um, Schwitz are super sweet and friendly and professional. I've also worked with people who are sweet and friendly, but totally unprofessional. Schwitz are both pleasant to work with and they have their shit together and it's always a pleasure working with them and it's the new location is fantastic awesome stage i'm happy to be bringing more live music into the club um so yeah there was really no question it was the first my first choice and i'm glad it worked out i like it much better personally i know i'm you know, i know that like some people disagree, they like the charming kind of community feel of the old one, which I think was great, but I think, I think it's great that, Sch that Schwitz is developing and kind of growing. How do you contend with the fact that you've influenced so many people who've gone on to become bigger than you in the mainstream and kind of co-opting your, um, your boundary pushing approach and kind of mainstreamify that and had greater commercial success? Like how do you contend knowing that you kind of set things in motion but that um, you probably won't have a top 40 hit because uh, I think that would be I would probably get really jealous you know <laughs> so yeah how do you grapple with that reality <laughs>